Hey there, Bree again. Today we'll be helping you choose the right solar panel to recharge your Yeti power station. We name our solar panels based on the amount of watts they produce. There's two important factors to consider when choosing a solar panel. Let's break them down. The first factor is the use case, whether you're looking for a portable or mountable option. Our Nomad panels are built with a foldable canvas and laminate design that make them the lightest and most portable option. The boulder line is more rugged and durable, made with aluminum and tempered glass. The single panels can be installed on a building or vehicle, or the two-panel briefcase can stand on its own using the built-in kickstand. The Ranger panel is a happy medium between the Nomad and Boulder lines, with laminate and an aluminum frame. It's the largest portable panel we make at 300 watts. The second factor is the number of watts of solar. This can be determined by the rule of five, which means that on a sunny day, a south-facing panel will produce roughly five times worth the energy than the number of watts indicated in its name. For example, a 100-watt solar panel will produce 500 watts of energy to recharge a Yeti 500X to 100% in a day or recharge a Yeti 1000X to 50% in a day. We use the rule of five to recommend panels for each Yeti, but it's important to remember that temperature, cloud coverage, panel orientation, and time of year will affect solar production. You can find a helpful blog linked in our profile to help determine the best solar panel for your needs.